Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to grade this. Do it like that, push it like that, making it last fast, bring it like that, making it last fast, bring it right back. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a product animation like this by only using After Effects. We will create this animation from scratch and you can use this technique to create any kind of product animation. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and before we begin, here you can see that I've already imported a couple of footages and these are just simple mockups for coffee which I downloaded from Freepik and PNG Tree. But it's completely up to you, you can use whatever product you have. Just make sure that it has transparent background and you have very nice cutouts for your products. And also I've imported a couple of these footages of coffee beans which we will use in our scene. So we have a bunch of different coffee beans and I also have a couple of splashes which we will use in this video. So once you have imported all of these footages, you also need a soundtrack which I'm going to use this one. So if I play this. Do it like that. You can see that it has nice beats and we can use this track to create a very nice product animation. So now let's see how to create this. So first we are going to create a new composition. Now you can make it whatever size you want. If you are posting on a social media then you can make it a vertical comp by 1080 by 1920. But for this one I'm going to stick with this and let's quickly rename this main. Width and height you can set this to 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick 20 seconds whatever you want just click on ok once you're done with this we are ready to add our track so first i'm going to select this and let's drag it over here now i'm not sure if you are able to hear this track but it's better to have a track so that you can align the elements according to them i'm going to just quickly press l to lower down its sound so that i can hear it nicely something like this and after that make sure to set this to zero otherwise you will have less sound so now let's begin by adding a background so first i'm going to right click new solid and just click on ok now on this one i'm going to apply fill but it's completely up to you, you can apply gradient whatever you want now for the colors you can pick whatever colors you want based upon your product but for this one i'm going to create this uh, dark sort of Brown, which will look best for our coffee background so we have this background and let's create our text so i'm going to select the text tool and let's click and it's completely up to you, you can type whatever you want depending upon your product you can also have your logo so for this one i'm going to type coffee and i'm using this norwester font again it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever font you want let me just quickly align this to the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable this. Now let's select this and make its anchor point in the center. So for that, you can select the layer, hold down the control key or command key on Mac, then double click on this and you can see that the anchor point is in the center. Now we can press S to scale this up to something like this. And in the beginning, I want this text to come down scaling so for that we can just scale this up quite a bit something like this and let's add a scaling keyframe now you can zoom in and let's move this to somewhere around 10 frames and let's scale this down a little bit something like this or maybe we can just scale this up something around here let's move this a little bit more and just slow down its scale and somewhere around here i'm going to set this to something like this so this is going to be our final scale so if i play back you can see that we have this sort of look but i want this to move in steps not in a continuous motion so for that you can select the keyframes then right click and now i'm going to change this to toggle hold keyframe so if i play back here you can see that now we have this stepping kind of animation instead of continuous flow and you can play around with their distance you can select the keyframes and move them closer so let me just quickly select all of them hold on the alt key or option key on mac then click the last keyframe and you can drag to reduce the space between them so yeah i think this is looking fine perfect so once you're happy with this we are ready to add our cup so for this one i'm going to pick this one let's drag the cup over here and it's quite big so i'm going to press s to scale this down you can see that all of these are transparent so you can just place them however you want so over here we have our cup now i want my cup to come from this side so for that we can animate its position but i also want it to rotate so for that we have to move the anchor point to the bottom 
so let me just quickly select the move anchor tool now you can move the anchor point to somewhere around here so that your cup will rotate something like this and let's add a keyframe for rotation and let's press p for position now you can press u to see all the keyframes and in the beginning i want the cup to be somewhere around here and also i want it to have a angle a little bit like this so that our cup will move something like that now it's very slow so you can select the keyframes press f9 or you can right click go to keyframe assistant and easy ease after that we are going to change the graph so go to the graph editor if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph now let's select all of these endpoints and I'm going to move them to the left side, something like this. And let's select these handles as well. And I'm going to drag them all the way to the left so that you can see we have this fast sort of motion. Now I don't want this cup to be coming at the very beginning. We can add a little bit of delay, something like this. So before we proceed, a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and I want you to please do that because I want to hit 100k subscribers this year on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's continue. And once you're done with this, we are ready to add more elements. Now you can see that this is looking nice, but we have a lot of free space over here. So we can have a little bit of coffee beans coming out. So for that, we can drag these coffee beans and let's scale them down. And also I'm going to move the anchor point to somewhere around here. Let's press R to rotate them. Let's place them somewhere around here. Let's move them behind our cup. And you can play around with the rotation to see whatever angle looks good. And you can have a little bit of scale, something like this. Now we can do one more thing. We can select this and we can parent it to the cup. So let's parent it with the cup. So now you can see that it will start moving with the cup itself. But I also want these to have a little bit of animation. So for that, we can select and press P. Let's add a keyframe and let's go to the very beginning. And I want these to move down somewhere around here. And after that, I want these to have a little bit of motion, something like this. So we can move this keyframe somewhere around here. Let's press F9. And again, let's change the graph. So let's make this one the same. Now, if I play back, here you can see we have this very nice animation. Let's move the keyframes somewhere around here. So here you can see we have this very nice animation, but you will also notice that these are not flowing in a straight line. So in order to fix that, I'm going to just move this somewhere around here. Perfect. Now in order to create a product video, you have to have very attractive animations so that it can grab viewers attention. And in order to do that, you can have a bunch of different elements in your scene. Just make sure that you don't overcomplicate your scene. Otherwise, it will not reflect your brand completely and people will get distracted very easily. So you can see that we have a couple of elements over here. And I think that this area is also looking very empty. So in order to fix that, we can have a little bit of splash in the background. So I'm going to add this one, something like this. So you can see that right away it has created a very nice composition. So I'm going to just place it somewhere around here and let's move its anchor point to the bottom somewhere around here. So you can see that I can just play around with its scale and we can have a splash, something like this. Now we can animate its scale. So let's add a keyframe for the scale. And in the beginning, I'm going to just set this to zero. Let's select the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph and I'm going to just change it to the same graph just like that now we have to play around with its position so let's place it after our cup has come something like this and let's make the keyframes closer you have to preview animation a couple of times just to see how these elements are flowing with each other and again i think that we can just preview it over here just like that so here you can see we have this very nice reveal. Now there is a very popular design in which you can have your product in a circular pattern. So let me show you how to do that. So for that, I'm going to use this cup too. 
this one cup one and let's drag it over here you can see that it's quite big so i'm going to just scale this down and let's scale this somewhere around here and after that you can just move it to somewhere like this and let's enable the title action safe you can play around with its scale let's scale this down something like this and let's place it over here now again it's completely up to you if you are making a watch commercial then you can have a bunch of different watches like this and now i'm going to move its anchor point to the center so let's select the anchor point and i'm going to move it to somewhere in the center of this comp just like this now we are going to create a bunch of different copies so select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now we can rotate this by pressing r and i'm going to rotate it by 60 degree so now you can see that we have two cups and we're going to repeat this step so press ctrl d to duplicate this then just add 60 to the value so now it's 120 ctrl d press r let's add 60 to this 180 just keep on doing this until you have a full circle something like this so here you can see we have added total of six cups and now we can select all of them and let's close them up so we have all these cups over here if you want you can change their color so that you can see them clearly now in order to control them we can create a null so right click new let's add a null object now we can select all of these cups and let's parent this to the null now you can select the null and press r so if i rotate it here you can see we have all the cups rotating with the null and we can use this to create the animation so let me just quickly trim this and first i'm going to add a scaling animation so let's add a scale keyframe let's set this to zero in the beginning again select them press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to just change the graph to the same look something like this so that we have this pop out just like that now for final scale you can play around with their value something like this and now we can add some rotation so let's press r to add a rotation keyframe let's move it somewhere around here and in the beginning you can just rotate it to however you want let's set this to negative 180 degree and if i play back here you can see that we have our cups and again i'm going to press f9 let's change the graph for this as well something like this so you can see that we have this very nice reveal just play around with its position and let's press u just play around with the curves to make something that looks good and let's move it something like that i think this is looking fine all we have to do is just play around with the timing so i want this to appear exactly when we have this splash just like that if you want you can just move these something like this and let's tweak the curves so all of this is just trial and error you have to play around with the animation and see what looks good so i think this is looking fine for me and once we're done with this we are ready to switch to scene number two and in order to do that we have to create a transition so it, you can use whatever shapes you want but for this one i'm going to create a circular transition for that let's select the ellipse tool and now you can just simply click and hold on the shift key and control key to create a perfect circle something like this make sure that it is in the center of the comp now we can animate its scale so let's press s to scale this up and let's in the beginning let's set this to zero let's trim this and let's move it over here and now i'm going to scale this so that it covers the full screen so here you can see that our circle is growing up but instead i want this to shrink down something like this so in order to do that you can just simply move these keyframes and just flip them now you can see that we have this full circle and after that it will scale down to zero and let's select the keyframes just play around with the easing whatever you think looks good so I think this is looking fine and let's increase the distance something like this perfect now we are going to use this as a track mat for a solid layer so in order to do that let's add a solid so right click new and let's create a solid you can pick whatever color you want for this one I'm going to pick a white color so let's add solid 
Now you can see that we have the solid covering our screen, but instead I want this solid to only vis be visible when we have this scaling down something like this. So in order to do that, I'm going to select the solid and you can see that we have the track mat option. So I'm going to just pick whip this shape layer and you can see that it will cut this out something like this, but we want this to be inverted. So you can just click over here and you can see that we have inverted our mat. And now it is scaling down something like this, which is exactly what we want. We can also select this plus U and I'm going to move these keyframes closer, something like this. Since I'm using the newer version of After Effects, so my track mat is looking different. And if you're using the older version, you won't have these pick whips. Instead, you will have a drop down, which will say alpha mat, alpha inverted. So all you have to do is just pick the alpha inverted and you will have the same kind of look. Now we want bunch of different elements over here. So I'm going to select both of them and let's press Ctrl D to duplicate them. And let's move this over here. And after that, I'm going to just quickly change its color. So let's apply fill to this. And instead of red, let's make this orange, something like this. And also make sure to change its track mat. So instead of selecting this layer, I want this to track mat from here. Now you can select both of them and you can add a little bit of delay by moving both these layers a couple of frames ahead, something like this, so that we have these two sort of look. Now I'm going to create one more copy. So select them, press Ctrl D and let's move them to the top. Again, select this and make sure the track mat is pointing to the top layer. Now we can select them and let's move them something like that. Now we can select this and again, I'm going to select this dark color. So here you can see that we have this very nice animation. Now you can play around with its timing and you can just pick whatever point you want. So I want this to come somewhere around here. Perfect. So here you can see we have switched to our second scene. Now if you want, you can select all of these layers which are below and you can press Alt and right square bracket to trim these. So now we can start adding elements to the scene number two. So over here, I'm going to use this bag. So let me just quickly track this and let's scale this down to somewhere around here. Let's add this something like that. Now I want this to have a scaling animation. So let's create a keyframe for scale. And in the beginning, I'm going to just set this to zero. Again, you can select the keyframes. Just repeat the graph editing process and you can just pick whatever you want. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. Let's find its position. So somewhere around here, it's looking fine. Yeah, I think this one is looking good. Now we can also add some rotation to this. So press R, let's add a rotation keyframe. Press U to reveal all the keyframes. And let's go to the very beginning. And I want this to somewhere around negative 90. Now let's select the keyframes, press F9. Just make sure to change the graph to whatever you want. Let's go back. So here you can see we have this very nice animation. Now I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D and I'm going to move the top one a couple of frames ahead, something like this. And on the bottom one, let's apply fill and I'm going to change this to white so that you can see we have this very nice white sort of outline just like this. So if I play back, here you can see we have this very nice reveal and again you can see that all these areas are pretty much empty so we can have a bunch of different elements so for this one i'm going to add these coffee beans so let's drag them below our bags and let's scale them down something like this now you can play around with their position and let's change their mode from normal to overlay so that it will mix nicely with our background now these are hardly visible so we can fix that by simply selecting our solid and we can just make this color a little bit lighter. So I'm going to just make this somewhere around here. So now you can see that we are able to see our coffee beans. Something like that. Perfect. Now I'm going to select this press Ctrl D to do duplicate them. Let's press R and I'm going to rotate this by 180 degree and let's move them to the top as well. And uh, let's move this somewhere around here. So now you can see we have these coffee beans and I'm going to add position animation to them. So let's press P, let's add keyframes 
and in the beginning i'm going to select the top one which is this one and i'm going to just move it to somewhere around here so that these are not visible and i'm going to select the bottom one and let's move them down now you can see that these will come in something like this again let's press f9 just change the graph perfect now you can play around with their position so i want them to come somewhere around here you can play around with the keyframe distance to make them slower let's move them a little bit ahead just like this so here you can see that they are coming with our back now we have created this so far and over here, I'm going to add my text. So it's completely up to you. You can have some description about your product. You can have some highlighted features. Depending upon your product, you can type whatever you want. So let's select this and I'm going to type freshly. And let's select this and I'm going to move this to the center. Let's align its anchor point in the center. So hold on the control key and double click on this. Now let's scale this up something like this. And let's select this, press Ctrl D. I'm going to type roasted. Now we can select freshly and let's move this to the top somewhere around here. And let's select the roasted and I'm going to move this to something like that. Let's select them and I'm going to place them behind our back, something like this. If you want, you can select them, press S and let's scale this up to something like this. So I think this is looking fine. Again, if you have different brand, you can type whatever you want. If you have headphones, you can type loud bass or whatever you want. Now we can add some animation to their position. So I want these to come from the top as well. So let's add keyframes and somewhere around here. We can move the freshly to the top and roast it to the bottom. Now let's select these, press F9. Again, it's completely up to you. You can select the graph to look however you want. But for this one, I think this is looking fine. Also, we can add some shadow to these. So I'm going to select the back, which is this one. And let's apply drop shadow. Let's drag it over here. If I zoom in, now we can first increase this and let's increase the softness. So here you can see we are adding some very nice shadow over here which will look good with our text, something like this. So we are done with this and we can add a bunch of different elements over here as well. So for example, I'm going to add these coffee beans. So let's drag it over here and I don't want all of them. I only want one of these so that we can animate it individually. So let's pick this one and I'm going to just select and draw a rough mask. Something like this. Now I'm going to select this and hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. So move the anchor more to move the anchor point in the middle, something like this. Now we can play around with it and animate it. So for that, I'm going to first scale this down, something like this. Let's press R to rotate it somewhere around here. Let's press P and I'm going to add position keyframe. So let's add P over here. And in the beginning, I want these to be somewhere around here. Also, I want some rotation animation. So let's select this, press R. Let's add a keyframe for rotation. Let's press U. And over here, you can just rotate it however you want. So I'm going to just rotate it something like this. Now let's select the keyframes, press F9. And let's go under the graph. And, and I'm going to change this. So let's select these. And let's make them to the right side. So if I play back, here you can see that we have our coffee bean coming in. Perfect. Now if you want, you can have more animation of rotation, something like this. And let me just quickly trim this layer and let's place it to somewhere around here. So I want this to slide in. Perfect. On this one, we can also add drop shadow. 
so let's add some drop shadow and again let's increase the softness let's add the opacity so now you can see that we have this very nice screen over here and i want one of these over here as well so in order to do that all we have to do is just select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's select this one press p and i'm going to remove the position and let's quickly place this over here and let's add keyframes for position let's press u to reveal all the keyframes let's add a little bit of variation to the rotation something like this and for position i want this to move in from this side so we can have something like this now again select the keyframes press press f9 and let's go to the graph editor and let's change this something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have these very nicely coming in and if you want you can add a little bit of delay to one of these just like that so we are done with our scene number two and we are ready to add a transition over here so that we can switch to our final scene so for that we are going to just simply use a solid new and let's add a solid and let's make this white and let's place this over here let's select this press p for position let's add a keyframe and in the beginning i'm going to just move this to the top something like that now we can select these press f9 let's go inside the graph and i'm going to change this to something like that perfect let's play this so here you can see that our solid is moving down and let's play around with its position so somewhere around here we can have this now again we are going to add a bunch of different copies so i'm going to select this press ctrl d and let's move this couple of frames ahead and on this one let's apply fill and let's change this to orange as well let's select this press ctrl d and let's move this over here and on this one let's change this to this color so if i play back here you can see we have this very nice transition so let's place this over here and as this is moving down i want these elements to move down as well so for that we can just play around with their position and somewhere around here we can select all of them for example we can select these two press p for position let's add keyframes and let's move them down so i'm going to select this one and let's move this down now let's select this one and let's move this down as well so here you can see we have this very subtle animation into our text and we can do the same thing with all of these now let's add the animation to the bags as well so select both of these bags press p let's add keyframes for position let's move this over here and let's move them down now just like that now we can move these coffee beans down as well so for that we can select them and let's press p and over here you can see that our coffee beans are still moving so we can't add animation over here so in order to do that we can apply transform on top of this so let's search for transform and let's drag it onto one of these layers and after that we can just add a keyframe for position and somewhere around here we can just simply move this down so you can just move its position so let's select this and i'm going to move this down so here you can see that it will move the coffee bean down just like this and we can do the same thing on this one as well so let's drag transformation and let's add keyframe for position and somewhere around here you can just move the coffee bean down just like that so now we can select these and let's press u so you can see we have these keyframes let's select them and press f9 just select all of these keyframes press f9 and let's hold down the shift key and select all of them and i'm going to go inside the graph editor and let's change the graph so i'm going to just select the endpoints and move them something like this perfect so here you can see we have created this sort of animation perfect so at last we want all of the other elements to come up 
So let's select all of them. Press U to close all the layers. Now we can select all of them which are at the bottom and hold on the Alt key and press the right square bracket to trim these layers. And now we can create our final scene. So on this one, first we are going to align the elements and after that we can animate them. So first I'm going to type my name. So I'm going to type coffee and let's select this, press S to scale this up. Let's move this somewhere over here. Now I want my brand to be coffee company. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to type company. And let's select this and let's make this smaller. Something like this and let's place this over here and we can add spacing between these letters. So for that we can go under animate tracking and let's increase the spacing to something like this. So here we can have a very nice branding. So let's again add more space, something like this and after that you can just place it below our main text something like that perfect now we can add our bag over here so let's select the bag and let's drag it over here let's press s to scale this down and let's move it somewhere around here let's select our text and just place it something like that play around with their position to see what looks good for your scene. Let's add our cups. So I'm going to drag both of them. Let's press S to scale them down. And let's move one of them over here and the other one to the top. So let's select this one and make sure that these are above our back. And I'm going to select this cup and let's press S to scale this down. And let's place this somewhere around here. You can press R to rotate this however you want. For this one, let's rotate it something like that. Let's select the cup number two and I'm going to press S to scale this down. And we can place it over here. Now you can pick one of them and you can place this behind the bag, something like this. Again, we can add some drop shadow. So let's search for drop shadow and let's first add this behind our bag. So let's increase this perfect now we can add a bunch of different elements so first i'm going to add this splash so let's select this one and let's add it over here and i'm going to press s to scale this up and let's change this mode to overlay then press r to rotate this and let's rotate it something like that Perfect. Now let's add some coffee beans. So I'm going to drag these over here and let's move them and press S to scale them as well. And after that, just align them however you want. Just place them below and you can just play around with their overlay and perfect. Now you can add more coffee beans to the scene. So let's add these ones. Let's press R and I'm going to just rotate them and let's place this somewhere around here. Press S to scale them down and let's change the mode to overlay for these as well. And we can just place them somewhere around here. Now at the end, we can add some coffee beans which we created over here. So for that, let's just simply select them. Press Ctrl D to duplicate them and let's just move them into our scene and just play around with their position and let's select this press u and just go to their position and on this one we can just delete the transform so let's delete the transform effect from both of them and you can just move them wherever you want so i want one of these over here and this one if we can place this over here here perfect so here you can see we have these very nice coffee beans now if you want behind these we can add this splash so let's drag this over here and let's place this behind all of them press r to rotate this somewhere around here and let's move this below 
just play around with the position of these layers and let's press u and we can add curves to this and let's drag it over here and i'm going to just add a little bit of contrast to this something like that now you can select this press s to scale this up and just place it however you want so i'm going to just place it somewhere around here let's press r to rotate this perfect now if you want you can play around with the curves to match its lighting with the scene i think this is looking fine so once you're done with this we are ready to animate all of them so first let me just quickly select all of them and let's press p so you can see that we already have keyframes for these two layers and we only want the keyframes for them so first i'm going to animate our text so let's select both of them press p for position let's add keyframes and let's move somewhere around here now i want these to come from this side so we can just move them something like that we can probably select them and let's trim these so over here we have these two cups and i'm going to just add the scaling animation to all of these so let's add scale keyframe and in the beginning i'm going to just set them to zero and again hold on the alt key and the left square bracket to trim these layers now let's add some animation to this as well so again we can have simple scaling animation so let's add scale and set this to zero let's trim this and over here we have the splash and for this one i'm going to add position keyframe so press p for position let's add keyframe and in the beginning i want these to move to this side again let's trim this one as well so we have these coffee beans so let's select this press p Let's add keyframes and just move them to the this side. And again, we can trim these as well. So at last we have these coffee beans and we can add the same position keyframes and just move them to this side. So let's select these and let's move them somewhere around here. Let's trim these. After that, you can select all of these keyframes and then press F9. Let's go to the graph and we can just change the graph to look something like this. And now we can play around with their position and we can just make them appear something like this. And if I play back, here you can see we have this animation, but we want these to have little bit of variation. So for that we can make couple of these elements come fast and make couple of them slower something like this so just play around with these and just randomly move them something like that so if i play back here you can see we have this very nice last slide perfect so we can probably make these cups come later on. So let's select these cups and I'm going to make them smaller. And let's select this cup and I'm going to make this smaller as well. So at last, if I play back. So here you can see we have created this very nice animation for our product. And in the same way, you can use whatever product you want and you can have a bunch of different elements to animate in and out and you can have some really nice transitions to switch to different scenes something like this so in this way you can create some amazing product animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon if you learned something from this video, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.